Hudson Street. Come on now, Hudson Street. There you are. Now, before I hand you over to the fabulous Linda, the mighty Quinn.
because the first day and the last day it was like sucking on the street. <laughs> <laughs> so it was brilliant. And that's the sun setting down Kilimanjaro and the, the wildlife and the, um, all the vegetation, the flowers and the old plants. It was just amazing. Amazing. And that's our wee camp there. So, um, so yeah, it was, very, as I say, it was very, very, very cold at night. It was minus 10 at night and very, very windy. So <laughs> I was like a chilling man going to bed because I had three layers on my bottom along with ski pants and four or five layers on top along with your, your down jacket and your hat and your gloves and your, your scarf and you're lining the, the tent with your waterproofs to try and stop the wind. Uh, coming through and then you get your hand warmers and, and then you're putting all the clothes out of your bag on top of your sleeping bag. Very romantic. It was just mad. And plus, it was, um, you were black at the end of each day, you were just black from head to toe with volcanic ash. ash. Um, and you couldn't get clean, you couldn't because you just had wee wipes at the end of the day and you got a little um, basin of uh, hot water and that was it. So it was just mad. And even in the tent, the whole tent was thick with volcanic ash. So you were just black. <laughs> and, and that's overlooking Kenya because we went round the north yeah. side of, of uh, Kilimanjaro and the views were amazing. And uh, that's the portrait. And uh, they sing the Kilimanjaro song and they dance too. Uh, and it's just we only teach us that one though. We only teach us the Kilimanjaro song. I think they all get taught it. No, you, you should teach us. <laughs>
So but I did lose my appetite for the whole of the trek and it was quite nauseous. So I couldn't enjoy all the food. You're forcing it down. <laughs> You're forcing it down because you've got to go. And as you see, this is a buffalo carcass. That's been dead for about five years. Oh, so that's <laughs> desert and a boulder field as well so that was that was quite tough and then we came to this is our base camp um, which we, are, we arrived on day six um, at our base camp it's called the school hut and that was around about was it four and a half thousand meters or something um yeah something like four six yeah. or something um, so that was that, and we had a snow blizzard there, so that was quite exciting. We had uh, hailstones and we had thunderstorms and torrential rain and all the other things. Sounds great, Um And then we set off uh, at 3 o'clock in the morning on day 7. No, we didn't. We got up at 3 o'clock in the morning, and they only gave us a half a cup of porridge for our breakfast. You had to have a very, very light uh, breakfast, and the way we went. In the pitch black, freezing cold, minus 10 degrees, all our layers on, two summit jackets, like six layers on each, you know, you were just like this, and um, with our head torches, and away we went. And um, our, that was 20 past four, we actually left in the morning, and about half five, six o'clock, the sun started to come up um, over this other peak called Mowensi. And it was just incredible. It was one. It was wonderful to see it at the top of the world, and it was just amazing. Um, so we trekked and trekked and trekked and trekked and trekked. So it was. It was. <laughs> it was brutal. It was brutal. And then you go up. Uh, it's very very steep. There's a lot of clambering, a lot of kind of cash, and then eventually you get to the um, the glacier zone. Um, which is the Arctic um, summit zone, and so you're going through all the, the snow and the ice, and uh, you're surrounded by all these incredible glaciers, which have melted an awful lot over the years, which is awful, but uh, it was just amazing. And we actually walked around the, vo the volcano rim oh, as well, which is, which is quite exciting. Um, yeah, so that was, that was that, and eventually at 12 o'clock midday, we summited. Oh. <laughs> um, well, I thought we were going to go picnic at the top or something, but no, absolutely no chance. I just needed some food, but no, they want you off the, the summit as quickly as possible because the altitude and it, you can get very, very quickly get ill and you can actually die. In fact, our head guide got ill. You're only allowed to summit with two porters and two guides and our head guide started getting quite unwell and he got quite ill. So we had to get off the summit um, as quickly as possible. Um, not before we got a wee photo shoot. <laughs> <laughs> um, this one there with them is holding the sing aloud, does it pad? doesn't matter. Sing aloud and the beats and yeah. uh, flags. <laughs> um, so we, ha we headed the way back down again and uh, what they actually do for about the last hour and a half going down, it's so steep and it's scree, it's volcanic ash scree, and it's so steep you just fall constantly and you've got to go down like this on your heels. Um, I actually didn't think that a problem, but my cousin's wife, Shan, she would, she would keep falling, so uh, one of the guys and one of the porters, they just got her, and they just, they call it scree running, or scree skiing, and they just shot her down. <laughs> <laughs> and she was like, yeah, I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> so eventually they came and they got me. <laughs> lunch at half past two in the afternoon so we hadn't eaten since three o'clock in the morning so we were we were very hungry and I mean I just, that's just the sun is way up here so that, that it's just vertical coming all the way down coming all the way back down to our base camp um, so yeah so that was that I think that's a wee video it's just 10 seconds or something that's the, the porter singing to us is it going to go? Yes. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 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 
Oh, yeah, so that's 